Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at graphing lines that are given uh, it, with the equation in slope y-intercept form. So here we want to graph this line y equals 3x minus 6. That equation, y equals 3x minus 6, is in slope y-intercept form because if you remember, y equals mx plus b is the form of the equation. So the slope is the positive 3, and the y-intercept is the negative 6. So when we're graphing by hand, we want to always start with the y-intercept. That's our starting point. So if the y-intercept is negative 6, that means on the y-axis, the line will cross at negative 6. So let's go down here on the grid and put a point at y equals negative 6. So there's our y-intercept, that b value. The line has to cross there on the graph. Now let's look at the slope. The slope from the equation is positive 3. And if you remember, the equation for slope is rise over run. So we have the 3 here. Let's force it into a fraction by doing over 1 like this. This doesn't change the value. If you already had a fraction for your, des for your slope, sorry, then you would use the numerator of the fraction for the rise and the denominator for the run. But since we didn't have one, we're going to create that denominator. And now we see that the rise is positive 3 and the run is positive 1. This means go up 3 for the rise and go right 1 for the run. So we're going to go over to the y-intercept that we started on the graph here. And we're going to do exactly what the rise tells us. Go up 3 because it was positive 3. So from here, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3 up. And then I'm going to do what the run says, which is go right 1. Right 1. Right there is my new point for this line. So now we have two points. We can draw a line through those two points, and that's the line for this equation. I can also keep going with my slope if I want more points. Again, I would go up three, one, two, three, and right one, and right there would be another point. And I can keep doing this until I get as many points as I want, but really you only need two points to draw a line. So we take our ruler now, and we try to line these up as best as possible. Draw your line all the way across the grid, nice and long. We'll put arrows because we know this line continues in both directions. And we'll label this y equals 3x minus 6. And that is the graph for this line given to us in slope y-intercept form. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.